Feliz Navidad from the Parkers. We're in the Guatemala Rey Tululeu mission. We're actually here at the Quetzaltenango Temple. We're able to go with some of our missionaries who did not have the chance to go through the temple before their mission. So it's been a beautiful day. We love being missionaries. We're here with about 20 of our missionaries this first time. And for us, it brings back memories of our day in the temple. We'll have the opportunity of four different temple endowments today with uh, the best missionaries. We love them very much. We miss all of you back at home. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Cordata Park Ward. We did it, another Christmas. That's what I'm talking about. Well, it's Elder Davis reporting from the Florida Fort Lauderdale Mission, and it's freezing over here right now. It's been in the coldest that I think I've ever been in, in two years. It's like 50, 60, low 60s right now, and it's been pretty chilly here in Florida. But I'm, I'm so excited to come home in a few weeks. Not because I didn't have a good mission, because I miss all of you. You're my ward family, and I'm super excited to tell you a little bit more about my mission when I get home. You know, and during this Christmas time, I would love to share a few of my thoughts and, and share my testimony with all of you. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you all of you know that missions are awesome. Missions are so great, and I've learned so much, and I've grown so much since I've seen you last. First off, brothers and sisters, I want to share my testimony about my Savior, Jesus Christ. I know that He lives. I know he loves us and that this season is all about him. Even though during this Christmas time, there's so many other things going on in the world and with the holiday that's been changed a little bit. So we have our awesome hats and, you know, presents under the tree. The best gift that we can ever have, it was already given to us. When Jesus Christ, our Savior, lived, died, and was resurrected for, for each one of us. I know that the atonement of, of him, the atonement of Jesus Christ, is enough as long as we keep doing everything that we can to become like him, to keep repenting, it covers us, and we'll all be okay, we'll all be happy, we can all have purpose, joy, peace, unity in the family. That's something right now that I've seen with my own eyes, that Satan right now is, is really trying to attack the family. But thanks to Jesus Christ, we can all be together, we can all be unified and happy. And I, I really do miss my family over there in California. But I know that this is worth it right now, to all those who are thinking about going on a mission, or have family members on the mission right now. This is where the Lord wants us to be, you know? And, the, and you all can be missionaries as well over there in Huntington Beach and Fountain Valley. Some of the my favorite warriors, my favorite heroes are the people that have raised me, all my leaders, all my friends, and even people younger than me in my own ward. I look up to you, all of, all of you, each one of you. I know, brothers and sisters, that this is the true church. I know that... The Book of Mormon is the Word of God. I know that it's true. I know it. I felt it. I've seen it. I've seen it change people's lives. This gospel is so amazing. We can't let a day go by without reading it, or else we will definitely get lost in this, in this crazy life. Know, brothers and sisters, that I have a testimony of everything that we learn. Every time we go to church on Sunday and we open the scriptures, it's all true. If, if you're still working on your testimony, Keep praying, keep studying, and it will come. Your answer will come. Hang in there, brothers and sisters. I'll see you soon, and hope you have the best Christmas that you've ever had. I'll be, I'll be there soon to celebrate with you. Merry Christmas! You! What's up? What's up? Hey, Cordata Park Ward. Uh, I'm Elder Terry. I'm Elder Heaps. I'm Elder Carrier. <laughs> and uh, we're currently serving in the Utah Salt Lake City West Mission. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we just wanted to say Merry Christmas. Uh, we love all of you. I miss all of you. Um, I know that uh, Jesus is uh, our Lord and Savior. And as we come to the time of Christmas where we celebrate his birth, uh, this is the time where we really get to celebrate his life, which is truly what uh, helps us to um, be happy here. Uh, so make sure you're you're always saying saying thanks for all the blessings that you have. Make sure you're doing missionary work. Missionary work can still happen even inside your house all day. Uh, so feel free to send a quick text to your friends and stuff like that. Wish them a Merry Christmas. But uh, we love you, and we wanted to end this off uh, with with an attempt to do a handstand. None of us knowing how to do one. Uh, hopefully this this works out. Ready? Right. Let's get it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shoot. I got a little bit. All right, that's it. Cool. Merry Christmas. We love you all. Miss you. Ciao. Hello, this is Elder Johnson, currently serving in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 
I just want to bear my testimony that I know my Savior loves each and every one of us. He really does live, and He has His hand in every single one of our lives. Um, I know that His atonement is real, um, that He He suffered for every single one of us, and because He suffered, we can change. And this Christmas, um, we each each of us have hope because He because of His atonement. And I know that that's true, and I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello, Cordata Park Ward, um, Family Ward, Home Ward. Um, Merry Christmas. Um, I love you guys so much. I miss you guys so much. Um, I'm Elder Fuyava. Um, I hope you guys remember me. This is Elder Kano. He's my companion, my beautiful companion, my amazing companion. Um, <laughs> so and he, he, is, he sings like an angel. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. This is Elder Buck. He's been with me from the beginning. He's a homie. He's a brother. Um, he fixes bikes. <laughs> this is Elder Morton. He's a G. We love him. He eats cheese. <laughs> this is Elder Goldbranson. He's a G. He's an awesome missionary. And he's a pro at ballroom dancing. There you go. I'm serving in the Colorado Denver North Mission currently. Um, but I was, I was called to serve in the Ciudad of Juarez, Mexico mission. Um, but as, um, as we all know, COVID happened. So I'm here in Denver, in Denver, Colorado. And it's been such a blessing. It's been so amazing. Um, it's been an awesome experience. Um, but I was asked to share a little testimony about Jesus Christ and about missionary work. And, um, I wanted to, um, bear my testimony that Jesus Christ is the most important um, the most important things in our life. Um, he should be the center of our lives. Um, he is the Savior and the Redeemer of the world. Um, he came to this earth to redeem all of us um, from our sins. And I know that you know through Him, through His atonement, through His sacrifice, through His resurrection, um, and through His gospel as well, um, we're able to um, be perfected, um, as it says in the Scriptures. Um, we're able to return to live with our Heavenly Father, and our families forever. And, you know, when we recognize that um, in our lives, you know, it's easier. It's easier to, to get through each and every day. And I want to bear testimony that Jesus Christ, um, he died for each and every one of us. He died for me, Elder Buck, Elder Kano, all these dudes, he died for you guys. Um, and it's such a blessing. It truly is. And I also wanted to bear testimony of missionary work. Uh, missionary work is, oh, dang. It is the most important work on the earth today, and it will forever be the most important work. Um, there's nothing better than this. There's nothing better than um, wearing the name of Jesus Christ on your chest 24-7. And um, we love doing it. That's why we're here. We truly do love serving the Lord. Um, and it's such a blessing. We, we see the blessings that it brings um, into our lives and into the lives of our families as well. Um, I love you, Mom. Love you, Dad, if you're watching this. <laughs> um, and we bear testimony of that. We all bear testimony of that. Um, and we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a good, um, great Christmas. Um, and also a happy new year. Um, I love you guys so much. It's Elder Fuyava. Deuces. Bye. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Greetings, Cordata Park. And Merry Christmas, Fountain Valley. My name is Elder Groman, and I am currently serving in the Texas Dallas East Mission. I've been here for not many months, but I can assure you that I am loving it every second of it. I really enjoy having the opportunity to share messages about Jesus Christ. And one of those messages that reminds me around this time during Christmas is the birth of Christ, obviously. And that is in 3 Nephi, chapter 1, verse 14. Let's see if we can get there. It says, Behold, I come unto my own to fulfill all things which I have made known unto the children of men from the foundation of the world, and to do the will both of the Father and of the Son, of the Father because of me, and of the Son because of my flesh. And behold, the time is at hand, and this night shall 
a, shall the sign be given. I find it wonderful that we had this sign foretelling Christ's birth, yet we still have signs today of his return. And I'm greatly honored to be on that mission in this time to share the messages of Jesus Christ. I'd like to bear my testimony that I know this church is the true church and that Jesus Christ suffered for my sins and for everyone's sins. I really thank him for doing that. And I leave my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much, Fountain Valley, and most importantly, Cordata Park. And Merry Christmas, and have a Happy New Year. Talk to you soon. Bye. I'm Elder Groman. I'm here in El Paso, Texas. This is part of the New Mexico Albuquerque Commission. I am serving in the, in the my assignment is the El Paso YSA Ward and also the Fort Bliss Military Ward. And I'm a uh, Merry Christmas to everyone back home, and I just want to bear my testimony. I know this historic gospel is true. I know that through Jesus Christ, we can get through anything, like this pandemic, which has been real crazy. It's been a lot of weird stuff going on this year. And I know that if we build our foundation on Christ, we can get through anything. And most of the truth I say is in Jesus Christ, amen.